How y'all doing today? Welcome back. So, um... <laughs> Man. Um... I don't know what to say. I mean... I'm making this... Um, I'll just say, you know, I hope y'all are, you know, succeeding, achieving your goals, regardless of how stressful or anxious you may get, you know, um, within completing that task, um, because scariest things and the things that give you the most anxiety may be the things that will help you grow the most. And, um, you know, <sighs> I'm still trying to push off the, because the closer it gets, I keep trying to push away the anxiousness and I keep and I've been told a couple of times that um don't get don't get anxious twice or don't worry twice you know <clears throat> the moment that you know of a reality that's going to happen you can be anxious then but get it all out then and, you know, focus on the good things about it because it's it's going to happen. At that point, you already know what's going to happen. So there's no point in getting yourself worked up and anxious and um, increasing your anxiety. No matter how much of a life-changing decision it is, it's something that is imminent to happen. It's something that is needed to help you grow. And so for me, I'm trying to keep myself from getting anxious all over again because, you know, leaving, leaving the place that you know for a long time that, that you know and that's where you you know that was your first stop that was your first spot you know leaving that to be on your own is like that's a that's a um that's a big thing that's a life altering situation and you know um, you're going to have nerves. You're going to have nerves along the way. But at some point, you do get used to it. You get... You get... Adjusted... To your surroundings. And... You start to really grow. Because the uncomfortability... The uncomfortability is needed. You can't be, you can't be comfortable and you can't, it, like, life is not always about you being comfortable and being where you want to be. Sometimes you have to be out of your comfort zone. You have to be uncomfortable in order to grow and get to the next step of success. Sometimes that's the only way to do it because the moment you get comfortable, that's the moment you get complacent. That's the moment that you plateau. That's the moment you hit your peak. And that's the moment that you that you may stop elevating yourself, you know, to a higher level. And, you know, some people are okay at being at a certain spot. But if you're not okay with that, it's kind of a tough thing to be comfortable, though, because... If you're okay with 
being at a certain place in life, go ahead and do that. But if there's some things that you want to achieve that you haven't achieved just yet, maybe because of your complacency or because of your plateauing, then you need to get more uncomfortable and you need to get adjusted to the uncomfortability and learn to be comfortable with the uncomfortability and being uncomfortable comfortability. <laughs> and once you're able to do that, then you'll be able to handle all types of situations. And I'm gonna be honest, every time that I've been away from home, um, any time that I've been away from home, um, I haven't had a problem. I've had fun. The only time is when, um, it was nighttime, time to go to sleep, going to a relative's house, my aunt, uncles, cousins. Anytime I went to their house for the night, to stay the night. Once it got nighttime and it was time to turn on the TV and actually go to sleep, that's when I started getting anxious and when I started getting to, I started being uncomfortable. And, um, and there were moments where, there were times when I would cry to get, to, to go home. And I would go home sometimes and it got to the point where they had to tell me like um my aunties had to had to let me know like if i wanted to stay the night they had to let me know or they had to make sure that i knew that if you're staying the night you're not crying to come back home you're not like you're staying the night if you come, you're you're staying. You're staying the night. We're not taking you. You're we're not calling anybody to take you home. You're gonna stay the night. And sometimes in those situations, I still. I guess sometimes in my mind, I was like, "Oh man, I'm, I'm you know anxious and stuff." But as soon as you fall asleep and it's morning time, then it's like, you know, then the anxiety goes away. But like, if you're on your own for a long period of time, it's like, um, it would feel like, um, If you're at home, or like if you're like at nighttime, you're like it's the it's similar, but then once morning comes, good, and then night comes again, and then you know if something happened that got me uncomfortable, then it's like I get ang I would get anxious, and I'd be like ah, I'm trying to get back in my I'm trying to get back in the comfort of my bed, and. You know, where I could do what I want to do. But that's not, that's not the way that it works. That's not the way that it, that it, as you get older, that's not how it works. Once you get to a certain point, you have to just say, this is something that I'm going to tackle. This is something that's going to happen, whether I want it to happen or not. Because if it happened next year and I was leaving next year, I would have the same anxious feelings. Or the year after that, same anxious feelings. And as a matter of fact, the longer I stay, I will say two sides of this. There's one side where the longer I stay, the more comfortable I would get and the more anxious and nervous I would get to actually leave. 
And then the other side is the more that I stay, the more that I would actually want to leave or the more I'd feel inadequate as a man or I'd feel like I'm like I'm not. I would I wouldn't feel like a man or like I wouldn't feel man enough because I'm like there's certain things I would feel more like a child. There's certain things where I would need to do on my own, but being home, it it makes it kind of hard to do that. And you know, you got to make sure that you know cuz you're under their roof, so, you know, there's only so much you can do. There's only so much until you start paying, paying bills, you know, until you start paying rent. You know, there's only so much that you can do. And, um, once you finally get that taste of freedom, finally get that taste of just being out on your own, getting to discover yourself through the uncomfortability and the unknown, then you realize this is what's needed to grow. This is what's needed to develop as a man. And, you know, you get to learn what you really want out of life and what your purpose really is. And no matter how anxious I may get, I know that this is something that I have to do and something that I want to do because I know that there's a greater purpose than what is on the surface, you know. And I know that this is what's needed for me to develop as a man and develop and become the best version of me that I can be through the uncomfortability and the uncertainty of the unknown. <laughs> that could possibly set me free. But. I don't know. leaving tomorrow so <laughs> man that's that's because like it's like in the morning so because it's an it's an, an 11 hour drive 11 hours so We have to leave early in the morning to get there for the evening or to get there for close to nighttime. It's crazy. It's crazy. But this was an opportunity that, you know, I didn't know I was going to, that I didn't know I was going to get. But it's something that the good Lord put in front of me. And I'm not going to pass up the opportunity to take the next step in order to become the best version of me that I can be and to <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Okay. And then to get rid of the flaws that come from that come from past trauma or that come from like past experiences or you know come from past pain you know and because it's really the uncomfortability and uncertainty of the and in, in, in the unknown that really tests you who you really are. It shows who you really are, and who 
who would want to shy away from a situation because it made because of the uncomfortability of it <laughs> if that's the case you're always going to run away and so this is something that even though I'm anxious and scared about I'm facing head on because I know I know that it's going to lead me in the right direction for success. So this is going to be my last video here. You're not going to see this. You're not going to see this background for a while. I know some folks have told me not to, to, to change up. I have changed up in a few videos, but this is really the best. This is really like the, the place. This is really the place where it all started and the place where I felt most like myself. So I really wanna start anew and give myself to the right direction. So the next video I do, it'll be on in my dorm or on the campus. <laughs> I'm going off to Humboldt State, baby. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Can't stay here no more. I can't sit on the floor. <laughs> nah. Y'all don't know what that is. I don't know. But, um. Whew. I hope y'all blessed one. Um, I'm not gonna see some of y'all for a while. So, if I don't see you for a while, just know. I'm glad to have you in my, I'm glad I had you in my life. And I'm blessed to have y'all as, as close friends. I'm blessed to have y'all as, like, the connection. And I'm blessed to be, be able to say that I, that I know you. And then I've engaged in conversations with you and that our paths have intertwined with one another. So you guys stay blessed and stay peaceful. And stay strong no matter what happens. And regardless of how a situation may seem and how anxious it may make you or how or how it may seem it may push you to a certain point keep fighting keep going keep going keep going because there's certain people that will stop at a certain point And that extra step that you go beyond them is just that extra step needed for you to succeed, for you to get to that spot. So. That's how we do it over here. Oh, oof. That's how we do it over here. We get things done. No matter how tough it may seem, we're thinkers, critical thinkers. <clears throat> if I know you and I hang around you and I trust you and I'm comfortable around you, just know that you're a critical thinker too and that you use your mind as well as your heart. And even if I'm far away, we're going to shine together. <laughs> All 
All right, it's starting to get corny now. Okay, um, it's time to <coughs> get ready. I'm gonna have to do this and then get me some food, take a nap, and then get ready to go in the morning. But, you know, stay strong, y'all. Love y'all. And my next, like I said, my next video will be it's either going to be in the dorms or on the campus. Or out, outside the dorms on the campus. Whichever one. Alright, y'all. Peace.